Number 10. In what ways are isotopes of a given element always different? In what ways are they always the same? All right, so this question comes down to whether we know what an isotope is or not, right? So I'm just going to put down here isotopes are basically the same element that have or that has a different mass. So that's what isotopes are. Isotopes are when you have two of the same or two or more of the same element, but they will all have the same or they will all have different masses. So let me give you an example. So let's say that we have oxygen, right? So we have three different oxygens. And let's just say that this oxygen is 16. Let's just say that this one is 15 and this one is 17. Okay. Now, usually when they give you these numbers, 16, um, 15, and 17, these indicate the atomic mass, all right? It's the number that can change. So 16, 15, and 17 are all classified as the atomic mass, and this, the atomic mass, is always equal to the number of protons plus neutrons. Now, the protons are called a different name. Protons are always called the atomic number. And the atomic number will never change for an element. So this will always stay the same regardless of if you're talking about well, it will stay the same for oxygen, it will stay the same for nitrogen, carbon, they'll all have different numbers. Those are the lower numbers that are the whole numbers on the periodic table. So now, if I look at oxygen on the periodic table, you will see that oxygen has a little eight. Whether it's on the top or the bottom, that doesn't matter, but you'll see an eight next to oxygen. And that will never change. That eight number will never change. If you've noticed that the nine if you change the oxygen, it turns to a different element. Nine is fluorine, right? Nine is the next one next to oxygen, which is fluorine. And if you take one away, you'll turn into nitrogen because nitrogen has seven. So this eight classifies as the atomic number. So that means that for each one of these samples, we have eight protons for each one of them, eight Ps. Now, for, I'm just going to say that this one is number one, this one is number two, and this one is number three. So we kind of already know how they're the same, right? For each isotope, they all have the same number of protons. So they will have the same atomic number, we'll say. We already know one difference is that one difference is that they will have a different mass, which is the atomic mass. I'll just say AM for atomic mass. So they'll have a different mass, but they'll have the same number of protons. And another similarity is that it will be the same element. So if you see an oxygen compared with the carbon, they will never be isotopes of each other. It has to be the same element. So, one other difference is, let's just find out what's missing here, right? For sample number one, we had a atomic mass of 16, and we have eight protons. What's missing? Well, you should know that atomic mass equals the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So, for the first sample, if it's 16 total and you have eight protons, how many neutrons are there? Well, you would just subtract by eight, right? So you have eight neutrons. So in this case, I have eight protons and eight neutrons. In the second one, what do you think? We removed one, right? So in this case, you have eight protons and seven neutrons. And in this one, you gained one, right, from the 16. So you would have nine neutrons. So what else is different? You get a different mass because you have different number of neutrons, and that's what classifies as isotopes. It's the same protons, different neutrons.
And technically, isotopes are going to be neutral. And just know that for a neutral atom, the number of protons equals the number of electrons. So you would have the same number of protons and also the same number of electrons. So to clarify everything, isotopes, you would have the same number of protons, the same number of electrons, but different masses because you'll have different neutrons, and I'll put that just in N. So those are the two things that are the same, protons and electrons. The two things that are different are the overall masses and the neutron number, and that's what makes an isotope. All right? Guys, I hope this helped. If it did, hit that subscribe button. We got tons of more questions coming your way to help you guys out on your quizzes, exams, homework, whatever. You got it, right? Um, we got it, right? Um, but thank you so much. I'll see you guys all in number 11. Bye-bye.